I'm wearing my Superman shirt right now, so I feel like a total badass. Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah, and today I'm going to be talking about all of the books that I read during the month of January. January was a pretty good start to 2017, I'm not gonna lie. I read nine books this month, and I enjoyed the majority of them, so without further ado, Let's jump into it. The first book that I read in January was Freaks by Amanda Hawking. I was actually sent an e-galley of this book through NetGalley from the publisher in exchange for an honest review as a part of the Freaks blog tour. I have a full spoiler-free review of this book up on my channel already, so if you're interested in hearing some of my more in-depth thoughts, I will link that down below as well as on the screen. But in short, I thought this was a really interesting concept and I liked the way it was executed. However, it just didn't stand out as totally life-changing for me, so I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read was If I Was Your Girl, and I can't remember the name of the author, but... This book follows a transgender teen who has moved to a new town to stay with her father to escape some of the brutality that she's experienced in her past for being trans. And it's about her life and her relationships and her trying to rebuild a life in this new small town. And I absolutely loved it. I give it five out of five stars. This is a really powerful, important book, and I would recommend it to anyone. The next book that I read in January was The Secrets of Lily Graves by Sarah Strohmeyer. This is a book about a girl named Lily Graves who has grown up in a house full of morticians and she's this very strange outcast of a girl who is named as a suspect when one of the bullies in her town ends up dead. This was a mystery and it had a cool concept but again it didn't really stand out to me as special and I wasn't a huge fan of the writing style and so for that reason I only gave it 3 out of 5 stars. If you guys would like to hear more in-depth thoughts I'm going to be filming and posting a review of this book up very very soon so stay tuned for that. The next book that I read in January was Saga Volume 1. This is a science fiction slash fantasy graphic novel and I have been hearing about this series for ages now and I just had to try it out for myself. I'm not a huge graphic novel person but when I do I get really really into it. This was a really solid start to a series and I'm looking forward to reading more of the volumes in the future. I gave the first one 4 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read was The Summer of Chasing Mermaids. This I really did enjoy this one. This is a loose retelling of The Little Mermaid, which is really interesting because I haven't ever read anything like that before. It's mostly a romance, but it's also a little bit magical realism, which is an aspect that I really enjoyed about it. I give it 4 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read this month was a book of poetry, and that was Milk and Honey by an author whose name I have also forgotten. This was a really emotional, personal um, collection of poetry, which I really, really enjoyed. It's not the kind of poetry that I usually find myself reading, but I'm glad that I branched out. Some of the poems I didn't really connect with, but others hit me very hard, and I think that's really what poetry is supposed to do. It's supposed to speak to you, and I did really feel like this one spoke to me. So I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read in January was Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, and I have some unpopular opinions about it. <laughs> the romance is cute at times, but mostly it just felt like a cheating romance. Because although the love interest is not technically cheating on his girlfriend, he's emotionally cheating on his girlfriend and there are a lot of situations that are just in a lot of moral gray areas and I wasn't a huge fan of it because that was the whole book. I give it three out of five stars. Please don't hate me. The next book that I read this month was All American Boys by Jason Reynolds and Brendan Keeley. This book is about racial inequality and police brutality. It's dual point of view and it's incredibly emotional and hard hitting and I gave it five out of five stars. The ninth and final book that I read in the month of January was To Catch a Killer by Cheryl Scarborough. This is actually just the jacket because I left the book in the other room. <laughs> this book was kindly sent to me by the publisher in exchange for an honest review and I will have that coming on the release date which is February 7th, 2017. I'm still not sure what I'm going to rate it star rating wise. I feel like it's a 4 or a 3.5. This is a straight up mystery novel following a girl named Erin Blake who has always been shrouded in this element of mystery because when she was a toddler her mother was brutally murdered and she was 
a witness. This one is really intense and it will definitely keep you guessing. So those are all the books that I read during the month of January. You guys should let me know down below some of the books that you read and what you thought of them. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. I post new videos twice a week. If you guys would like to follow me on Twitter or any of my social medias, I will leave the links to those in the description box below as always. But most of all, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!